felt that as long as I stay true to myself and as long as I keep the people that are so important to me in my life, you know, surrounding me, that I will be able to succeed. More and more former co-stars are coming forward claiming that Leah Michelle was unpleasant to work with after Samantha Ware accused her of making the set of Glee a living hell. Heather Morris, who also starred on Glee, took to Twitter saying that Leah was unpleasant to work with, writing, For Leah to treat others with the disrespect that she did for as long as she did, I believe she should be called out. It's, it's the most bizarre thing that's ever happened but just in my life. Leah. Leah's former Spring Awakening co-star Gerard Canonico called Leah out for being a nightmare during their time on the Broadway show, writing, you made us feel like we didn't belong there. I tried for years to be nice to you to no avail. But the star gets her own vanity. There is a perfectly fine bathroom mirror upstairs for the understudy. So sorry, I totally forgot how much room you need for all that hooker makeup you plaster on every day. Leah's former ragtime understudy Elizabeth Aldrich also jumped on the bandwagon, writing, She demeaned the crew and threatened to have people fired if she was in any way displeased. I used to cry every night from the mean and manipulative things she would do. She was 12. She was terrifying. It was so wrong. <laughs> Amber Riley, who starred as Mercedes Jones in all six seasons of Glee, also spoke out about Leah, saying she doesn't give a shit about what is going on since her focus is on Black Lives Matter. I don't give a shit about this Leah Michelle thing. I wish Leah Michelle well. I hope that she has an amazing pregnancy. It is, pro I, I hope that she has grown. She reached out to me, I responded to her, and that's where it, it, it ends for me. I ain't talked to that girl in two years. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, and I have no hatred or ill will on, on that end. And I want to make that very clear. Now, Samantha was the first to publicly accuse Leah of creating a toxic environment on set. After Leah tweeted about George Floyd's death and the Black Lives Matter movement, she responded, laughing my ass off. Remember when you made my first television gig a living hell? Cause I'll never forget. I believe you told everyone that if you had the opportunity, you would in my wig, amongst other traumatic microaggressions that made me question a career in Hollywood. When I am with you, there's no place I'd rather be. Leah went on to apologize, saying that she didn't remember making specific remarks, but what matters is that I clearly acted in a way which hurt other people. Whether it was my privileged position and perspective that caused me to be perceived as insensitive or inappropriate at times, or whether it was just my immaturity and me just being unnecessarily difficult, I apologize for my behavior and for any pain which I have caused. We're always trying to get together. It's like crazy. It's like who's here and everyone's always, you know, in different places. Um, but I mean, that would be incredible. Yeah. Maybe we could like get like a huge like concert. We'll do like a big, like the o we did the O2, that's like a huge venue. But no, it would be so great. For me, it would be good to like have dinner with everybody, but I know everybody wants us to do like right. a big show or something like that. It would be amazing. Now her tweet unleashed a flurry of reactions from other Glee stars. Dabier Snell, who had a minor role in a 2014 episode, also quoted Leah's post writing, girl, you wouldn't let me sit at the table with the other cast members because I didn't belong there. F you, Leah. Meanwhile, Alex Newell, who played Unique Adams on the show, commended Ware for speaking out by sharing a gif of a RuPaul's Drag Race contestant and tweeting, Child, we ain't got a thing to lie about six years later. Get a day. Now, Drag Race alum William Belly quoted Newell's tweet and added, Leah treated me so subhuman, I left the set of Glee. Pass the popcorn. We really, uh, honestly, all do get along, thank God. <laughs> so we get to have a lot of fun with each other. Uh, the worst thing I'd say about being on tour is, you know, definitely it's hard being away from our real family. This is our extended new family, <laughs> but being away from our real families, I think, was, you know, kind of difficult for us. Aaliyah played Rachel Berry on every season of Glee, which aired from 2009 to 2015.